Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I've got two into resin molds out today. I've already done this one in blue the other day, you saw, but somebody wants four of them and they want all four the same. So I will do one on camera, the rest off camera. And she just wants clear with my silver bell, silver foil flakes in there. And just one little diamond right in the center like the blue one had. So we're going to do four of those among other things for her, but that would be on another day. I have been wanting to do this big, huge seashell trinket dish since I received it. So today is that day and I'm going to do clear in here as well, but I cut out this same stuff that Don used in his ornament the other day. So I just cut out the back the best that I could. It was kind of difficult to do that, actually. I don't know how he did his. He didn't have any tricks or tips for me when I asked him how he did it. So I did do that and I grabbed, remember the other day when my film was floating and I put the piece of um, silicone on top. So I have my old piece of silicone ready just in case this does the same thing. So I really wanted to be able to see color so I didn't choose one of those foils because I think this deep, you would lose most of it. So I got this deep blue, green, purple tint one and hopefully we'll see some color through it. I mean, it comes to this size in the back, so I don't know. I hope I don't waste all this resin for a terrible result, but I'm thinking it could possibly be pretty, but we'll know if we do it another time. So I'm gonna mix up some resin. This thing holds, who knows, it looks quite large. This one is like an ounce and a half or two ounces. So I'm gonna start with like 12 ounces and see where that gets us. Seeing that it's just gonna be clear, I could just mix up some more and pour it in if I need it. Okay, it is bubble free. It's ready to pour. So I guess I'm gonna pour the big one first. I did take a tiny little bit out for the Silver Bells foil flakes. But I guess if I need it in here, I'll just put it in here. Hopefully we get no bubbles in this. Although you probably won't see it because this is all really, most of it's diamondy, but the backs or the sides of it is kind of like, I think, a satin finish. I don't know. This is the first time I'm making it, so we're going to have to check it out and see what we got. I'm not going to fill it all the way up yet. I want to put this film in. Now oh, I can't remember. It must go this way. So let me get a spatula here. What I'm going to do get messy and put a bunch of resin on here to avoid bubbles forming. Not that you'll see them. I really don't think you're going to see them. And I hope this thing floats. I think it'll float. I want it under the resin and then I'm going to fill it back up, but I'm not too worried about the bubbles on the back. So let's see how much more this takes. Oh my gosh. It took uh, almost all of it. And that is, I really wanted it to float don't think it's going to but hmm I guess it's okay if it doesn't I hope this isn't a mistake because I don't know I don't know what it's gonna be like I really expected it to come to the back so I guess I don't need that piece of silicone it's much heavier than that other film I was using the other day which makes sense why it would sink 
and there are a ton of bubbles coming off the back of it. But I guess it doesn't matter because that's the bottom. It won't matter. You won't see them anyway. So what do I have left here? Oh, I do have some in that little cup. And I've got, oh, I've got two ounces left. It seems like nothing in these really big, huge mixing. So I'm sure that's enough. So let's get some of the silver bells put into here. I just didn't want to. I don't think she wants a lot of it. I just didn't want to mix it into the whole thing. I'm just going to drizzle this in so I don't incorporate a ton of bubbles. So I'm going to just pour it in and then put in the silver bells. And I might just have exactly enough for these two things which is shocking I feel like I'm cheating you <laughs> all right so that one's probably three-quarter full and I'm gonna go up all of these little spikes get this all in there And I'm sure it's going to do its own thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with the rest. Wow, this is going to take the last little bit that I have. That is so funny. I never mix the exact amount. I even had my, my extras ready to finish filling it up for the giveaway. So I guess that won't be today. I just have a little bit left to go in the giveaway. It's a conch shell that I've been filling for quite a while now. Okay, that's domed. And there's literally nothing left. I could scrape it and it'll fit in here. Sorry, you, sorry all you extras fans. It isn't happening today. So we got a short video. I'm just going to... Kind of mix these since I poured that clear in. It displaced all my glitter. And the silver bells are probably going to sink. Maybe not. They're really light. Super duper light. So, okay, well, that isn't going to float. All it's doing is creating bubbles. It's sitting. Oh, you know, guys, I don't think I want that in there. It's sitting... I look like I have unmixed resin too. My my mixer died because I didn't have it charged. So I finished mixing it by hand and I may have not done a good job. I'm worried about this just sitting there on the bottom. I think I'm going to take this out. I think I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to get a piece of the foil that will float because this is just too heavy. I didn't want it sitting on that bottom like that because you're going to see that and it's going to look kind of weird. So I'm going to go find a piece of foil and I'm going to also, I'm going to be mixing in some bubbles, but I really don't want my resin unmixed. I see a few little like, you know how it's unmixed? That's what I'm seeing. So that would be terrible if I just poured all this and it didn't cure right. But I think I got it. Thank God it's a diamond mold and you're not gonna see all that that I just did in there. So otherwise, I don't know what I would do. Okay, let me find some foil, um, film, not foil. Let me find some film. I did find some film. I just laid this on top of it and cut around it. But I don't I don't know I'm going to get the effect that I want. It's really really light. So I think before I put this in, I am making a huge mess. I'm going to pull some of this out. 
I'm gonna pull some of my resin out. That way it's not full and I can back it with black. So remember, I was just telling you there's no extras. Just kidding, there's going to be extras. So now I'm going to put this in like that. Get it underneath, see if I could get all my bubbles out from underneath it. What a mess I am making. Hopefully that stays in place. So I do have a little, I don't have to leave that much room for black. So I am gonna pour it back in, a lot of it back in. That's it. So I don't know. I mean, I think the black back would make the effect that we want from that uh, film. This is called Angelina Film, Opal Fire. I will try to link it below. I'm pretty sure I could find it where I got it. I haven't had it that long. Um, well, that's it. Let me clean this up, pour that into something, and see you on Demold. I put the rest of the extra in this little cup to see what I actually have, probably less than an ounce. So I pulled out my cast and craft blue. I wanna try something. I'm gonna color it blue. This is a really pretty color blue. I love their color. And then I'm going to add my crushed crystal to it and make some ornaments, little tiny ornaments, and see how the crushed crystal looks mixed in here. I think it'll look good. I don't think you'll see the silver bells because it floats too much. So let me grab a little spoon. I'm gonna put a decent amount for that amount of resin. That could all sink. I'm not sure. We might just see crushed crystal. But blue and silver snowflakes I think would be beautiful. Look at all that. That's a lot in there. I'm just gonna mix it like a lot to break it up more than it already is. I mean, I could put a drip of glue in there so it didn't sink, but I almost kind of want it to sink. I'm just gonna spray this mold with some alcohol. It's not getting in there. And we're gonna make a few extras and see what they look like. If you try something like this, um, I just had to move the film back over. It was sliding down the shells, so I'm definitely going to have to babysit this. This shouldn't take long. It's pretty deep. It's going to get warm pretty quickly. Um, I did have more for a bookmark and one more pendant, and I threw the rest in the conch shell that I've been trying to fill up. So we're getting closer to doing that giveaway, but if you put film in, this one is not floating either. So... Um, I don't think it's sunk as much as the other one, but I do have to keep moving it. Okay, see you in a couple hours.
I pulled the extras out and finished all them up and these came out so pretty. That blue and silver is gorgeous. It is just so sparkly. I top coated everything with UV resin. I stuck a tassel on the bookmark. And then here is a one pendant. So beautiful. I love that color. I'm a blue lover, you guys all know that. Here's one of them. I just took out some silver silver rhinestones, put them all three of those. So there's one. This one's always my favorite. I didn't top coat these with UV resin. There really wasn't no need to. They're already shiny, so. And you can't do some of them because of the facets in there, but there's the last one. This one, I don't know what to think. Can you see the film moved over when I wasn't looking? And cured that way. So, gosh, I hope I didn't waste 10 ounces. This thing held 10 ounces. Let's do this one first and see if she's going to want the other three. She wants four of these total. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. It's still shiny. I mean, you can't make the facets out as much because of the glitter, but it is still really pretty. So we'll, I'm going to stick one big rhinestone in the center there for her on that one. And I'm sure she will want the other three made. So I will just do that off camera another day. It's all the same thing. Let's see. Oh gosh, I got bubbles in here because I was mixing it. Remember me mixing it? I think I ruined this one. It's still a little warm. Let's hope I can get this out without bending it. I should probably go cool it down first. Oh man. Although that is the back with the bubbles. So I guess it doesn't really matter about the bubbles, to be honest with you. I can't. It should be cooled down. You know what, guys? I'm going to cool this down. Be right back. Okay, here it comes. Oh, that is pretty, though. Can you tell? I can tell. Which kind of stinks. But you can see a little iridescence. I could see that there's none on that side. So that totally kind of stinks. I should have, if I did it again, I would cut it much bigger and then kind of wrap it in where it couldn't move. I was just trying to do this back here. But all in all, so the sides are shiny. It didn't look like they would be in the mold. But look at that glittery, diamondy effect. That is gorgeous. And I don't even think, see, if we put black on the back, it's just going to accentuate the fact that it's not covering the whole thing. So I'm not going to put black on the back. I guess I will be keeping this for me and using it as a trinket tray because there's no way I could sell something that didn't work perfectly. I think I'm going to trim this out in silver, though. I want to see all those little tiny pearl things. Let me go grab a pen. They are done. So I put the stone in the center of this one. Really pretty. I'll put probably a, I think I have silver ribbon on there. This one, I like the trim. I'm not happy about that. So guys, give me ideas how I could pour. I'm definitely doing this several more times. So give me some color combinations or what colors you might want to see in here, what you would have done differently. But this is a gorgeous, you could even use this like a soap dish because it's the perfect size and it's beautiful. But keeping it clean of soapy, it, that's another thing. That's not my problem, but it's just an idea. So guys, thanks for coming in today. I do have another couple molds from Into Resin to do. So look 
out for those. I also made my own mold, another one. So that should be coming out any day now. And I will see you all tomorrow. You guys all have a blessed day, everyone. Stick around for those pictures. Bye.